How to find your passion in life, because let's face it, life is not meant to be lived in a nine to five cubicle, doing something that you don't love doing for 40 years to work for somebody else, get a gold watch, retire, get a motorhome, travel around the United States, move to California because you have arthritis, and then die. That is not how life is meant to be lived. You need to be passionate about life. You need to be passionate about your relationships, about your work, about what you choose to do as a career. So all in this video, I wanna talk about how to find your passion in life. What up guys, Ben over here, back with another video. Let's just cut to it. Why would I be qualified? Well, because I have freedom and I am now truly doing something that I love doing and it wasn't always that way. I didn't go to college, I did have a nine to five job, I broke out of the corporate world and I'm not saying that breaking out of the corporate world is for you. Maybe you love your job, maybe you love the corporate structure, maybe you love working a nine to five. A lot of people don't and it's fine if you do. The more important part is how to find your passion in life and making sure that whatever you're doing is something that you're infinitely passionate about. So in this video, I wanna share that because I've been through many times where I was depressed beyond tears. When I was leaving my job, nobody believed in me and I had to do it the go it alone route. So I've been through quite a bit and I know this video is going to serve as a purpose for you to be able to find your passion. By the end of this video, you're gonna know how to identify what your passion is. You're gonna know how to search for it. You're gonna know how to find it and then you're gonna know how to take immediate action on that. So the very first thing that I wanna talk about here is do not worry about the money up front. This is the only time you will ever hear me say, do not worry about the money. Because in every other instance, money, in my opinion, is the most important thing. Money's what's gonna put clothes on your back, it's what's gonna afford your lifestyle, it's what's gonna put healthy food in your stomach, it's what's going to allow you to create freedom. Do things that actually truly mentally make you have health in infinite levels and clarity. Average people don't understand that. People that think money is not important are usually broke middle class citizens that have never had money. So don't listen to the opinions of other people, especially those that don't have money or have not achieved the things that you want to achieve in whatever level is health, relationships, love, doesn't matter, okay? But if you want to find your passion, here's what happens. And when we're talking about passion, passion usually comes down to uh, what can I get paid to do that I love doing? Passion is also, what do I enjoy doing as a hobby? What do I enjoy doing in life? What do I enjoy in my perfect day? What would my perfect day look like, okay? Passion is being happy in the mastery of life. Passion is, on a daily basis, loving what you do, loving how you exist, loving what you get to do every day, loving the life that you've created. And so it's this mastery of life. And life is not life if there's not a monetary element in it. You cannot create happiness if what you're doing for work, where you're spending 40, 50, 60 hours a week, maybe more of your time, if you're not fulfilled in that, okay? So I think that finding your passion in life has everything to do with the fulfillment, the lack of, the level of, the infinite amounts of fulfillment that you get in the workplace or what you've chosen to do as a career. So let's break it down, passion in life, passion in relationships, passion in your work, passion in all elements of mastering your life. Hey, if you're brand new to the channel, make sure that you subscribe. In my channel, on my YouTube, you're gonna find everything about building an eight-figure level entrepreneurial business, building your business, okay? If you're a brick and mortar and you're wanting to go online, if you're trying to get more leads, trying to get more sales, if you wanna brand yourself on social media, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, if you wanna be able to expand out there, TikTok, whatever the case may be, I'm here dropping daily uploads for you to be able to become a better entrepreneur, mastering your life, be able to develop the sales skills you need to turn seven, to turn eight figures, and to be able to just have an infinite amount of success in all elements. That's what I'm sharing on my channel, so make sure you subscribe. So let's break this down. I do not believe in earning money in a way that does not um, create a sense of fulfillment for you, okay? I could earn a million dollars a month and I would turn it down. If I was offered a million dollars a month at a job, I would turn it down right now, okay? Because a job's not for me. I'm my own boss, I wanna be my own boss, I'll always be my own boss. I have a vision for my life. I don't know what I want to do. You have to find what it is that you want to do. And this is the only instance, once again, where I will say money's not important. You need to first figure out what your passion is. 
then it's immediately the money. Then the money is the most important. Okay, figure out the fat, the passion first. Do not be looking at can I get paid for the passion. Do not think that way at all. If you're thinking that way, if you're asking those questions, if you're doubting, can you actually get paid to do what you love? You have the wrong mentality. You have to fix that because that mentality is going to cause you to fail time and time again as your life goes on. So the first thing is you need to identify what is it that I love doing. What gives me an ear to ear smile every time I do it. I just, I don't think about anything else. Nothing else matters. Okay. I remember the first time I was on a roller coaster as a kid, I was scared shitless. The creaking roller coasters, tremors in Silverwood, Idaho. I see it creaking. I'm like, I don't think those two by fours will hold it. I'm like a seven year old. I'm like, yeah, no, my engineering mind says those two by fours are not strong. I'm going to get up there. Who knows? Maybe I weigh like one pound too heavy for this, for, for this roller coaster and I'm probably going to die or the centrifugal force is going to cause a roller coaster when it goes like this and it's going down really fast, probably going to fall off. Everybody's going to die. I'm not doing it. Not doing it. Okay. My dad put me on the roller coaster, locked the thing on me. I went on scared. I'm screaming. I'm like, nah, nah. literally screaming like a little girl. <coughs> Uh, that was a really weird scream, by the way. And as soon as it went down, I'm smiling. I'm screaming with happiness, passion. I've always reflected on that. I've always reflected on that because if I don't have that same amount of passion in my work and who I get to work with and whose lives I get to impact in my relationship with my girlfriend, uh, with my friendships, with what I choose to do for leisure activities, when I choose to have leisure activity, in vacations, in the cars I choose to drive, in the food that I put in my mouth that makes me happy because of the taste, because of the quality, it's not worth doing. People forget about that. The middle class has forgotten about that. It's not taught in schools. You must be passionate about it, okay? If you're not passionate about it, as soon as you hit opposition, you'll quit and you will hit opposition. You will face opposition because as you're trying to grow as an entrepreneur or in business, you'll hit these levels of op opposition. And they've been very hard in my life, very hard. If I wasn't passionate about what I do, I would have quit. I would have quit. I, I would, I would have failed. And, and you might be mentally stronger than me. You might be uh, better at going through things that you don't like doing for the money. But I'm telling you at a certain point, the money is going to become irrelevant because of the lack of happiness and fulfillment and because of the depression. So you have to find your passion. How do you find your passion then? That's why you're here on this video. If you're loving what I'm dropping down so far, highly encouraged, highly appreciate you smashing that like button. Really appreciate you guys. And I love supporting you guys. So let's show some love. Let's show some like, smash that like button. First thing you have to do is go back to the drawing board. What fulfills you? What makes you happy? What activity? Okay. You have to look at this. Is it, is it playing soccer? Is it hiking? All right. I love soccer. I love hiking. I love withdrawing myself from this busy world and being able to be up on a mountain, staring down at the world that doesn't even know I exist at that moment or is there. It allows me to break away. I love the wind through my hair on motorcycle rides. I love that. Okay. How would you turn riding a motorcycle, riding a Harley on the highway into money? Sharing that experience, grabbing a GoPro, putting it on the tank of the Harley, riding down the road, offloading that footage, putting a voiceover on it, explaining what's going through your mind. All right. I, as I'm going through the forest, I just, all my thoughts are clear and I'm able to just weave through these, these forest roads in Idaho and just unwind. What's my purpose? What am I doing? And I feel complete clarity in that sense. Life's about the ride. Start riding, right? Videos like that inspire people putting that out on YouTube. All of a sudden you've got followers that are and subscribers that are coming to man. I love your channel. I love your inspiration. You could literally take riding a motorcycle and turn it into money. Now YouTube's paying you for AdSense revenue. Don't worry about the how just do it. Just do it. People that fly by the seat of your pants. Really people that have true happiness in life, love what they do. They absolutely love what they do. Okay. They're, they're going around and they're vacationing, they're traveling, they're helping people with business. They're inspiring people. They have fulfillment through what they do. They're not worried about the money, who they're attracting, what they're attracting, the energy that cr they're creating creates the money. Don't worry about the money. Stop, stop. Worry about what do I love? Okay. Chase that, find that, and then do that. That's all. That's all. That's all. If you want to learn how to find your passion life, 
chase that, find that, do that. And you might have to hold a job while you're doing this. That's normal. I held a job while I'm trying to figure it out. And then I found, oh my gosh, I love teaching how to make money online. And I love teaching business. And I started doing that. And then I started getting people that were engaging and asking me questions. And then I'm like, maybe I should come out with a course. Then I came out with the course and people started buying it. Don't worry about the how. You don't need to have everything figured out. That will come. Go back to the drawing board. What is your passion? What do you love? Start doing that. And start doing as much of it as you can. Okay? Start giving off that vibe. Start sharing it on social media. Start putting it in your Instagram captions. Start posting it on Facebook. Start posting it on TikTok. Start putting it on YouTube. Start talking about it. Be your passion. And even though you might be a gas clerk at 7-Eleven, you might be a waitress, you might be an esthetician, you might be whatever, all right? And that's not fulfilling. Do this, okay? And do not do it in the light of, I'm gonna make money with it and it needs to work this month. Just do it. And put your energy into that. And keep that positive energy. And this is not some hippie, liberal, Democrat bullshit here. Energy creates money. Put that energy out there, focus on the energy, focus on the work of doing your passion. This will create opportunities. You will see them. You'll recognize, ah, people are asking me questions now. I can, oh my gosh, people are wanting me. Oh my gosh, somebody wants to pay me to talk about this on their podcast. Oh my gosh, somebody, oh, somebody wants to feature me on a show. Oh my God, that's how it happens. And then this job ceases to exist, all right? Guys, if you're brand new to the channel, make sure to smash the like button. I hope this has helped you. I hope this has been a little bit of 10 minutes of inspiration to help you find how to find your passion in life. All right, smash that like button, subscribe. And if you have questions about how to find your passion, if you're struggling in business, in your relationships, in your life right now, let me know in the comments. I want to help. Recap is money is not important unless the way that you're creating money is fulfilling. Go after your passion, identify what makes you smile ear to ear, go after that. Do not worry about the money in that sense. Focus on creating the energy. The energy will present opportunities to you that will allow you to monetize and get rid of your job or whatever you're trying to get rid of or replace over here. Replace whatever this is that is not fulfilling with the passion. Always do what you're passionate about. Following that one passion, the one passion, will allow you to create infinite amounts of passion and infinite amounts of fulfillment and purpose in other areas of your life. This will drip down to your family, to your friends, to your relationships, to your husband, to your wife, to your girlfriend, to your boyfriend. It will drip down. And this will create happiness and fulfillment in life. The way you earn money, I'm gonna leave you with this, the way you earn money must allow you to be fulfilled. And you must be fulfilled by having a big purpose. You must have a why behind the money that you create. Money is the most important thing once you've created it with the passion that you're chasing the money down with. Money is the most important thing once you've created it with the passion that you're chasing it down with, okay? You need to be paid for your passion. You can be paid for your passion, and at first it won't be that way. Chase the passion, create the energy. The energy will create the money. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Just do it. Just do it.